bugger off to another place if you don't like our values. This kind of phrase is now common practice among opinion leaders and politicians. They are criticized for this strong language. I would say they are not strong enough. What does one say after a terrorist attack or after brutal violence against freedom of speech or freedom of press? People, opinion leaders, politicians in the West often say we have to stand firm to defend our freedoms, our liberal values. Sometimes stronger words are used. In my own country, the Netherlands, the mayor of Rotterdam, Ahmed Abu Talib, told religious fanatics, if you don't like it here, bugger off. If you don't believe in our freedoms, take a direct flight to Saudi Arabia. Maybe they appreciate your views there. A lot of other politicians are doing the same. Brass off, piss off. If you don't like it here, go elsewhere. Some other politicians and opinion leaders start to criticize this immediately. This is not proper language. You cannot say that. That's not friendly. No, no, it's, it's not friendly. And maybe it's better not to swear, yes. On the other hand, you can question if language with proper nuances and disclaimers will grab the attention of the persons involved. Anyhow, I find this whole debate about tone and whether or not using strong language a bit childish, a waste of time. Let's focus on the message itself. Because what do opinion leaders and politicians mean when they talk about our values and our free way of living? Yes, freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion or leaving religion is important. Equal rights of men and women, straight and gay are fundamental. But are those rights our right? No, these rights are fundamental rights for everyone, written down in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. They are to protect every civilian on earth, not only in Western countries, everywhere. A lot of people in the West will say, yes, yes, but that's hypothetical. At the end of the day, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is an invention of the West. It's not part of the way of thinking in other parts of the world, they say. It's remarkable that the dictators and religious extremists fully agree with this line of thought. They too will say that individual freedom is imposed by Western imperialism. Probably they are pretty thankful that people in the West are supportive to this spin. People who are not thankful for this are the many brave human rights activists in countries where freedom is under siege. People who try to protect women, not because their rights are Western rights, but plain human rights. Others are fighting to protect freedom of speech, the right to get proper education, freedom of religion and apostasy. Their drive comes from an autonomous desire for freedom. They're not helped by dwarfing human rights to merely a Western plaything. People who say that extremists should brass off to other parts of the world are sissies. It's not strong speech, it's weak speech. Those who don't respect individual freedom are not welcome anywhere. Not in the West, East, North or South. I wish you many free thoughts. <laughs>